We have three horses because I couldn't find any elephants. Rust-Oleum high gloss black paint and some Rust-Oleum metallic paint. This garden dish and there'll be some E6000 that I didn't bring outside. I've removed the tags from everything and I'm going to spray paint the top of the garden dish and the horses with some Rust-Oleum metallic copper paint. Today's Try It Tuesday was inspired by Design by D9 and it is this elephant bowl. Since I couldn't find the elephants and I, but I could find three horses, that's what I used. I also am painting my elephants copper instead of gold and the inside of the bowl copper as well. I'm doing this outside for ventilation purposes and I'm not going in really strong. I'm just lightly spraying over and I'm going to do several coats like this until I get to look the way I want. I'm probably going to let it dry and then I'm going to flip them over and do the bottom on the horses because it's hard to get everything from this angle. So I'm going to leave these out to dry and then I'm going to flip the horses over and finish painting them. Time to paint the bottom side of the horses. Dave's keeping an eye on it from the front door. Rust-Oleum 2X Cover High Gloss Premium Paint. I'm going to do it the same way. Just lightly go across it back and forth until it's done. And then let it dry. This is a rough idea for my horses and I may have to space them out farther, but it's a starting place. This looks like it's going to work for the spacing, so now I just need to take the top off of this and I'm going to put the glue on the horses and then I'm going to put the top back, back on it. It started to rain outside so I had to bring these in and they're done. This is the inside where I painted it copper and this is the other side where I painted it black. And now I'm going to glue the horses to the underside of this. Now on the original project, she had a good way of dividing it up. However, I, she used an elephant and I have horses and they are taller in the front. So I'm going to have to figure mine out and put it in thirds. Probably just going to eyeball it. I've applied a generous amount of this quick hold clear glue, but you could use E6000 or other clear glue. Now I'm going to put this back on top of it. Make sure it's spaced out the way I want with enough of the horse head sticking out. And then I'm going to get a can or two of canned goods to hold it down. I've put my Progresso soups in the top and going to allow it to dry. This is the finished decoration and I've added to the tray two Dollar Tree pumpkins and a Dollar Tree Believe sign. And I'm going to put it on my TV stand. I would video it over there but it's too dark and it wouldn't show up very well. This is the area where I have the best light. Thank you for stopping in and have a good evening. Dave is griping because I put it on his TV tray perch.